While it has been in an experimental phase for a few years now, it isn't until a few days ago that downloads have become publicly available on the Paper MC website. Yes, I'm of course talking about Folia. In case you've never heard about this name before and you have no clue what it is, let me catch you back up to speed. So Folia is a fork of paper, made by the same people who make paper and Velocity and Waterfall before it got discontinued. Now, why would paper fork their own project, you might wonder? Well, Minecraft servers have always had one very big bottleneck. One thing that kept them from truly being great performance-wise. And that is the fact that Minecraft servers have always been a single threaded application. And this means no matter how much RAM you keep throwing at your server, at some point it will get bottlenecked because it cannot utilize the full power of the CPU. Now this exact problem, this bottleneck, is what Folia tries to solve. So now that it is no longer experimental and you can simply download it with a single click, the question arises, should you make the switch? Should you drop everything you're doing and switch to Folia? If you're just here to figure out the answer, um, it's no, <laughs> you shouldn't. If you want to know why, let's dive into it a bit further. So the whole thing which makes Folia special is that it can utilize multiple CPU cores, not just a single one, like for example paper. And while this might sound amazing, the reality is 95% of people, if it isn't more, don't have a Minecraft server available with multiple CPU cores to spare. If you're just hosting a Minecraft server at a server hosting company, whatever hosting company it may be, then that server only has, in 99% of cases, a single CPU core available. Available. In a lot of cases, not even a single core, but only a small part of it. This means if you install Folia at just any random server hosting company, you will not be able to benefit of any of the features that make Folia Folia. At that point, it kind of just turns it into a paper server, uh, but then worse. Because Folia, unlike PaperMC, doesn't support the Bucket or the Spigot API. Which means the only plugins that will work on a Folia server are paper plugins. This is unfortunately a choice they had to make, as the Bucket and Spigot API are not kind to a multi-threaded environment at all. They were designed just to work on a single thread. So they had to go. <laughs> The server I'm currently on, by the way, is, is a Folia server. And when I type slash plugins, you can see that I do have a plugin installed. Advanced Server List, which is a paper plugin. And because of that, it works perfectly fine on Folia. But actually, I have two plugins installed. Also, Citizens. And with Citizens not being a paper plugin, Folia doesn't even recognize it at all. It doesn't even show up red. It just doesn't know what to do with the file. So using Folia on just any random server host, where you don't have multiple CPU cores available, is basically like running a paper server, but then worse. And 90% of all the plugins that you're using currently will no longer work. They also tell you this here, straight up, how is Folia different from paper? Folia is designed to address the constant bottleneck of the Minecraft server running on a single thread, causing performance issues. It is by no means a drop-in replacement for paper. Not a drop-in replacement for paper, keep that in mind. Then is Folia for me? Folia won't be useful for the majority of servers out there, and it will break most public plugins. It's ideal for servers with very high player counts that offer game modes that naturally spread players out, such as Skyblock or SMP. And that is really what Folia is for. If you're just hosting a Minecraft server for you and a few friends, or even if you have a public Minecraft server with a few dozen players, Folia is, for you, not an interesting choice. Folia starts becoming interesting when, first of all, you're planning to run a Minecraft server that will spread players out a lot, like SMP or Skyblock. Second, you own your own dedicated system that you can 100% utilize to just running a single Folia server, meaning you're not hosting at a Minecraft server hosting company, but you just straight up bought a server from a data center, which you have 100% access to, and this system CPU has a whole bunch of CPU cores that you can all put to use for a single server, then it might be worth taking it into consideration. And third, even if the first two points apply to you, keep in mind that Bucket and Spigot plugins will not work on Folia. And while yes, there are public paper plugins available, there are simply not that many. If you want to make a Minecraft server only using public plugins, then it's gonna be very hard to make one without using any bucket or spigot plugins whatsoever. 
As time goes on, more and more developers are deciding to switch to the paper API instead of bucket and spigot. And while this process has sped up a little bit, it is still a slow process. And compared to the amount of bucket and spigot plugins out there, there are really not that many for paper. So if you want to run a Folia server, like Skyblock or an SMP, and you do have a full system available with a bunch of CPU cores that you can all utilize for this server, then still, you probably have to custom code all of the plugins you want to use. Most public ones won't do, which means running a Folia server is just gonna be a very expensive endeavor. Because you need to pay for the whole system yourself, you need to custom code the majority of plugins for it, and because of that, it is simply not relevant for 95, if not 99% of people. But for the few server owners out there that are running gigantic networks with hundreds, maybe thousands of concurrent players, this could be an interesting option to look into. But like PaperMC mentions in their own docs what hardware will folia run on best ideally at least 16 cores not threads so you're gonna want a cpu that has at least 16 cores available and then dedicate them all to this single folia server now when this is done successfully it can house quite a lot of players which is of course awesome but running such a server is definitely on the expensive end now something which is also good to mention is that folia servers will run just just fine in most environments that can also run a paper MC server. So the server I'm on currently is just being hosted at a regular server host, where I don't have multiple cores available. Here you can see that it is in fact running Folia, but obviously it is not utilizing any of Folia's features. And in this current environment, just at a server host, it is not a very wise choice to make. But do let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about Folia? Are you excited for the project? And are you ever going to give it a shot in the future? with a very big server project you're maybe working on. Do let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye.